after you guys finished. Um, what, what, what did he say to you after you guys finished and both made a team? Shoot, um, probably say congrats. I don't entirely <laughs> remember, but we were kind of just saying congratulations to each other. So, yeah. Nico, what kind of peace of mind have you had since the 10? I mean, obviously a lot of people had a lot of time to try to be able to pick this up and you and Grant and Woody get on the line today and you're still the only you know, uh, three guys that had it. Like, just what, what has that done just for you and Coach Smith to be able to be really purposeful and intentional on, on how you set this up for today? Yeah, um, I mean, it's been awesome getting to train with Woody and um, learning from him. And, uh, you know, we warmed up together today. Uh, I think, you know, it, it feels like there's a, you know, I've got a training partner out there, so that's pretty awesome. Coach Smith does a great job um, with the pros that he coaches. So, uh, yeah, it was it was great leading up to this race. Can yeah. you talk a little bit about the race, how it sort of went out? I mean, yeah. how you kind of answered and responded to sort of moves and, and what it needed what it took in the final four laps to, to make this race, you know, and make this team. Yeah, um, well, I knew that when Grant went, that was when the race was really going to begin. So, um, yeah, he went and I, you know, and kind of matched it. So I kind of felt like I had to go. Otherwise, I was going to miss my shot. So um tried to do that. I kind of wish I felt a little bit better out there today. I feel like I didn't feel as good as I wanted to. But, um, you know, it was good enough for today. So, uh happy with that but um yeah i think i need a little bit of rest before this august so you had a lot of expectations on this to be part yeah and then today you kind of fulfilled a lot of those you're talking about kind of you know indoors you got a monkey off your back and you feel like you got another monkey off your back today yeah um i mean there's a lot of things that i wanted to do this year i feel like i came off last year wanting a lot more so um you know winning those titles indoors and um the collegiate records that i've set and then now this has been um you know, a, a lot of the things that I've wanted, and I think uh, I've kind of set myself up to, you know, I'm just, I'm doing this for me, and uh, I get to evaluate what success looks like for me, and I feel like that's helped me manage that expectation from the outside, yeah. What was going through your mind the last two or three laps? Um, I, I was just like, I gotta match every move I can. I really wanted to, um, yeah, there was, every decision I made was, um, to yeah, follow the follow the group and follow when Woody went around. I was like, I need to make sure I follow him because it's one, two, three. So how, how, how much where, where Drew was? Uh, yes, I was looking at the screen for sure. <laughs> were you thinking just get top three at that point? I mean, were you aware you know Chulimo also had the time? Were you th thinking it was a race between four people or how were you sort of viewing it? Kind of the um, last couple laps. I think it's important that I viewed this race as uh, not trying to make the team. Um, just tr I wanted to frame it as placing as high as possible which is kind of how I frame every race um NCAA is everything I've run so um you know I just raced to win so um and that came as third today so and it made the team the making yeah. the team how does that feel now you're an Olympian uh it feels amazing I've always I mean this is crazy yeah. yeah I feel like it's lined up really well with my career I could have either just missed this uh cycle or just made it in I just made it in so you yeah. in the five too yeah I'm in the five as well I mean yeah. the the U.S. Dis distance running sort of you know, success over the last decade or so, that's pretty much been your whole life that you can probably remember running. Did you have a favorite distance runner, American distance runner growing up who's been, kind of been part of this generation that's been winning medals over the last 10, 15 years? Um, I feel like I def definitely in high school, um, I looked up to Galen a lot. I mean, um, yeah, I, he was definitely someone I was watching. I guess I was a little bit be. A lot of that was um, a little bit before I was in high school, but um, yeah, it was definitely a big inspiration for me. Um, a lot of pro runners are were though. Um, my high school coach Sean Brosnan was kind of knew a lot of people, so I got to experience a lot of things in high school that most high schoolers didn't. So, we were able to chat with him today. He was here. Um, I didn't get to chat with him. I got to chat with his wife, but um, I'm sure I'll see him tonight or tomorrow. Yeah. Nico, you've already got the box checked off. Speaking of. The Newberry Legacy, how yeah. incredible would it be if Colin's able to find his way there as well? Oh, that'd be amazing. I mean, he looks great today. Um, he's got one of the craziest closes that I've ever seen. So, I mean, he's confident and he feels good. I think that makes for the best we can see from Colin. So. And you go, to check off a, a childhood dream or a lifelong dream, I'm sure, how significant is that, no matter how that race panned out, 
you are going to the Olympic Games. Like, how does that sound to call yourself an Olympian now? It's awesome. I mean, I think the word Olympian kind of transcends the sport, so uh, it's pretty cool to be able to call myself that. Yeah, absolutely. Who do you, uh, who do you go and celebrate with now? Who are the first people that'll sort of wrap their arms around you and, and take this special moment in with you? Uh, definitely my family and my friends who came to watch me today. Um, had a lot of people here supporting, so I'd like to go see them. Yeah. We will let you do so. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it.